Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So I want to explain about Thanksgiving Day. Before this video starts, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my video to support this channel. Thank you and happy watching. What is Thanksgiving Day? Thanksgiving Day is a national holiday celebrated on first days in the United States, Canada, some of the Caribbean islands, and Liberia. Thanksgiving is celebrated on the second Monday of October in Canada and on the fourth Tuesday of November in the United States. The history of Thanksgiving in the English tradition, days of Thanksgiving and special Thanksgiving religious service became important during the English Reformation in the reign of Henry VIII and in relation to the large number of religious holidays on the Catholic calendar. Before 1536, there were 95 church holidays plus 52 Sundays when people were required to attend church and forego work and sometimes pay for expensive celebration. The 1536 reform reduced the number of church holidays to 27. But some Puritans wish to completely eliminate all church holidays, including Christmas and Easter. In my life, in 2009, I got married with my ex husband, who are not Christian, and since then, I become, I become non-believer. My married life was around eight years only. In my married life, there were so many problems. My married life. Uh. For what God has done in my life. Lord, I am thankful for all what you have done in my life. I am thankful for that you enable us to pass through this year carrying that beyond my expectation. By what is good or bad things, the joy or pain, you are Emmanuel. You surrounding me, the people who teach me, so I may be learned from them and humble myself. The next insurance company suddenly changed the policy after many years. So I got my money back in account and not need to lose 40 percent. I thank you. Yet you give us a basic 32 million budget in compensation at GBMFI. Just, just uh, finish. Even though at the last session of meeting, we had found some tax around 32 million, but God changed it up. And then go for every big or small things for good food to eat. For a new suit. I'm thankful for my family, every testimony that I share. I know that my next day will be full of His mercy. from the enemy, rescue him, and many things that happen in David's lives 
even when David faced the enemy, he always said, His love endures forever. And why? First thing that we can learn from David is about his faithfulness. David had faithful, David has a faithful person who had personal relationship with God. I took two verses from Chronicles and Psalm. Psalm 68, 1 to 13. This is the psalm when David asked for God's help and we knew that he was weak and did God. So in this psalm, we can see that David had personal relationship with God. Do you think you can fight with the God? God is a big giant of Philistine, a strong man, and you, just a kid who just born, then you train that you want to fight? But what can you say? Do you know? And experiencing God in our life. And through that experience, you will know who is the God that you have faith in Him. Who is God that you are trusting in Him. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His love and His forever. Let us pray. And can stop us to always give thanks to you. God, you are so good. God, you are good in every time. God, you are good in all times. And help us, Lord Jesus Christ, to live our lives. And help us, Lord Jesus Christ, to step and be brave in our step. We can say that your loves and yours forever. Lord, may this word strengthen each one of us, God. So when we face our daily life, we can give thanks to you. Not regret, not blaming others, but we still can have our focus to you and always say thank you, God, for this chance. Thank you, God, for this opportunity. Thank you, God, that I am still here until today. Thank you, Lord, for every blessings. Thank you for all the family members. I pray for all the congregation in Grace Methodist Church, for all my brothers and sisters who are present in this church today, and to those brothers and sisters who are not able to come to this church today, wherever they are, God, may your blessings upon them.